Two things, and this is basically what Ross says, is just start writing because it, you, you develop a radar. So if, you, if you're writing on a daily basis, even if it's for an hour, even if it's for 15 minutes, just start writing because your subconscious will kick in and you're gonna start solving your own issues. And also, when I mentioned radar, you're gonna start using things from your life, people that you meet, um, moments that happen and you can incorporate in, incorporate those in your writing once you're writing because you have a place to use them. That would be my first piece of advice, right? Even if it's 15 minutes a day, just get in the habit. The second piece of advice is if you're starting out, um, I if you're not having fun with what you're working on, it's a, it, it's a bad sign. Um, so make sure what you're writing you know, people write for the market, and I've done that on the advice of my agent, and it's, it's always been a mistake. Um, so write what you really can face, because writing is very tough, it takes a long time, and make sure you're passionate about it, and if you're not having fun, um, don't, you know, I'm not afraid to cut a commitment if I feel like it's not working, I'll, I'll just cut out of the project. Because I've, I've slaved for literally years on screenplays and books that I didn't like, and my agent or my editor, they were telling me to keep doing it, and it was a mistake. So follow your passion. Could you define fun a little bit? Yeah. Because, I mean, we're not fun, ha-ha, you know, right. party fun, different kind of fun. Right. It's, it's a visceral feeling that you feel good about this. Because the writing's tough. The writing's not fun. For most, occasionally it can be. But it's the, the feeling that once this is accomplished, it's something that you want to have your name on. And you feel like it's something that, in a way, only you can write. It's a part of who you are.